Now lastly we're going to look at creating a cross-section sheet. Kind of the same steps in a way, but then we're actually going to access a tool that's going to put the cross-sections on the sheet for us. So first thing again is we'll create a model, we'll reference our border, but then after that we're actually going to run a power symbol tool that will create the rest of it. So beginning in our training guide we'll be on 124 and that will carry us through to uh, 125. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into my layout DGN. And of course the first thing we want to do here is create a model. And again it's a sheet model. Uh, cross section. And we're going to do 1 inch equals 20. And of course it's a D size sheet. And click OK and that will create our sheet. And of course we want to reference in our border file. So just like before we're going to go attach a reference file, the border, but of course this time we're doing 20 to 1. And we're going to do the top view. Click OK and we need to snap to the center, not the origin but the center this time, and there's our border. So simple. Now we want to cut the sheets. So if you if you go into uh, Civil, you've got Plans and Quantities, Cross-Section Sheet, Composition. This tool is reading, again, a settings file. What's the settings file? Well, let's open it up and we'll see it. We'll go File, Sheet Library, Attach. And we're going to go to the C drive, Data, Geo, Site, and Standards, commercial.xssl. So this sheet library file, or settings if you will, has all the information stored in it for the various options here on the left hand side. So all this stuff is set up. So first off is the xsdgn. Now where are our cross sections? Okay, well let, they're in layout.dgn, so we'll select that file in our plans production folder. What happens is it goes in that file and it sees those cross sections we created earlier. There they are. It gives you the beginning and the station, the, the chain that they were for. So it found those. Next thing is, well, where's, where are you going to put them on sheets? Well, we're going to put them right here in this file. So we select layout, DGN again. We create the scale that's already set for us because of the sheet library file, everything else is really set for us. The only thing we need to change is the lower left corner. So we're going to click the DP button here. And we're going to data point in the lower left corner of our, of our sheet file. So you can data point here, you can data point here, wherever the lower left corner is. That sets the X and Y. Now what's going to happen is it's going to um, start placing, referencing in the um, cross sections. And it, now based on my sheet library, I've told it that my sheet's 34 wide by 22 high. And it's going, it doesn't need to place a border. I've already done that. And then it's going to go grab all the information on these levels. So not all the levels, but whatever I specify. It's going to make sure that those levels are on, and it's going to reference them here. As far as placing them, the sheets out there, it's going to kind of stack them vertically, and uh, it's going to space them out four units and apart vertically and four horizontally. Now, as far as the sheet itself, like this particular sheet here, and I'm looking at it, it's going to double stack them. It's going to place the the second stack 11 units away from the left hand margin. So you can see that. You can see a picture of how that looks. So the center line is 8 and 11. So then we uh, go to the margins and spacing. Now, you know, because imagine more than one cross section on a sheet, how, you know, what's the distance between the cross sections on the sheet? So we can control that here with the various values of spacing and how far between and, and from the bottom. 
So, so really, these these this option here, margin and spacing, and sheet stack, and that, that kind of information, that controls how many cross sections you have on a sheet. So, if you plot them and you've got way too many sheets, then you come back and adjust some of the spacing options, or maybe you have too few sh sheets, you can bump the numbers up. Also, we can place labels. You can see we're going to place station labels and where where to place them, how far away. So, all the offsets are being measured from where you see here the, that data point. Offset labels for the cross sections both at the top and the bottom of the sheet. So you can kind of get an idea of, of what's being created. Elevation labels along the left and right of the cross section. We're adding some at the bottom here. We could add some at the top of the cross section if we wanted. So we're adding an extra elevation label at the bottom. So at some point you want to lay out the sheets. So you just click layout and it plots the sheets. So I close and I can see there's my offset labels, my station label, there's my elevation labels, all the symbology of the text is controlled. And you can see here if I fit view I've got more borders so I need to reference that border in a few more times. So that concludes creating the cross-section sheet.